Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to discuss the difference between recording macros in absolute mode and recording them in relative mode. So the best way to illustrate the difference is to illustrate it with an example. So basically here, I'm gonna start recording a new macro. So I'm gonna go to the developer tab here, click on record macro, and the first macro is gonna be in absolute mode. So I'm just gonna write its name, it's gonna be absolute macro, and then I'm gonna click OK. So now I'm gonna select cell A1 and put A1 in it, and then two in cell A2 and then three in cell A3 and then I'm going to stop recording. So now if we examine the code on the macro here, so as you can see here the code says go to cell A1, put one, go to cell A2, put two, go to cell A3, put three and then it's selected A4 because when we press enter we go to the cell that is below the current cell. So if we just delete the 1, 2, and 3 here in cells A1, A2, and 3, and try to run the macro again, you can see here that we got 1, 2, and 3 put in cells A1, A2, and A3. Every single time we run the macro, we will just get the same result. Okay? Now, let's try to record the macro in relative mode. So why the previous macro was in absolute mode was because we did not click on this button here that says use relative references. So let's see when we record it in relative mode. So I'm gonna click on record macro here and I'm gonna name it relative macro here. And I'm gonna click okay, I'm gonna use relative references. Here put one in cell D4, two, and then three, and then stop recording. And let's examine the code again. So as you can see here, it says put one in the current cell that is active, and then go one cell downwards, put two, and then go one cell downwards and put a three. So this is what the relative code says. And this means that it's actually going to put 1, 2, and 3 depending on which cell is selected. It is relative. So it's going to be relative to the selected cell. So if I select, for example, cell F4 and run the relative macro, it's going to put 1, 2, and 3 in F4, F5, and F6. If I select another cell here, J4, run the relative macro, we get 1, 2, and 3 in J4, J5, J6. So it's relative to the current selected cell. It's not absolute. When we use the absolute macro, each and every time we run it, as you can see here, I'm going to run the absolute macro. So each and every time it's run, it puts 1, 2, and 3 in cells A1, A2, A3. Each time it puts 1, 2, and 3 in the same location. But the second one here is relative, so it's relative to the selected cell. So that is the difference between recording in absolute mode and recording in relative mode. So how do you know whether you're in absolute mode or in relative mode? It's through this button. If this button is shaded, use relative references. If it is shaded like now, then you are in relative mode. If you press on it again and remove the shade, you can see here you're back to absolute mode when recording. Okay, so that is the difference between the absolute mode and relative mode when recording macros and I still want you not to worry if you don't understand the code for now, you will be able to understand it as we progress through the course. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.